Now to that remarkable scientific breakthrough. 13,000 years after the last dire wolf walked the earth, scientists say they've now brought them back. Biotech company Colossal Biosciences says it brought the extinct dire wolf back to life, a species that hasn't walked the earth since the Stone Age. The dire wolf is the first de extinct species. Hey everyone, Ken Michael, along with Pastor Josh Schwartz, Olive Tree Ministries, and we're with our good friend Mondo Gonzalez from Prophecy Watchers. Mondo, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here, guys. You saw the video. This bioengineering and biotechnology is getting off the charts. We just saw that they brought back the dire wolf. Give us your take on that and where you think this bioengineering is going. Well, to me, it's from a scientific perspective, it's phenomenal. And one of my favorite animals is a wolf. So to me, I look at this and, and, and just, again, I'm in awe of the technology. Uh, on the other hand, you start thinking, whoa, whoa, how, you know, what are we doing here? Because there's no doubt that what we see as we approach the end times, uh, even the whole field of transhumanism, the desire to be post-human, human, human 2.0, the desire to uh, get and to transform humans, to get eternal life without Jesus Christ. I mean, mankind is desperate to live forever apart from him, apart from God. And so when you see this, it's a, it's ultimately a slippery slope down this technological hole in the ground that is uh, the bottomless pit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's it's scary, it's it's dangerous, but it's also exhilarating to think through the, uh, the reality that we have the technology to be able to, in essence, um, play God and recreate or bring back from extinction these things. I think it's a dangerous, slippery slope to be going down. You know, th this to me is uh, exactly what Jesus said. And, you know, if you're a Jewish person listening to Jesus in the first century, and he says that the days of the Son of Man are going to be like the days of Noah. Uh, there's no doubt that one of the main principles there is that that people of Noah were unaware. But a person who would be, again, a Jewish person knowing their Old Testament, uh, it's they, they are not going to miss the connection that you have to what happened in Genesis 6. And that is you have you have intervention into the genome of humanity from an outside source. In Genesis 6, it was fallen angels. And I think that that connection absolutely is a biblical connection that Jesus said would characterize the days before he returned. And so it's no surprising to me what, what we're seeing happening. And is it going to get any any worse? Absolutely. Yeah, Mondo, I couldn't agree more. When you start messing with God's creation, we are heading down a dangerous path.